This is Ride News Now. I'm Allison Hayslip. Today, it's a hydrogen-powered Palooza. We've got two hydrogen vehicles announced that'll blow your mind and a future forward fire truck. Now, here's the latest in all things mobility. We've mentioned before that hydrogen is highly combustible. We've loved the humble little hydrogen atom for so long with its sole proton and extreme explosiveness. One little spark and the most abundant element in the universe will go up like, well, the Hindenburg. So it's safe to say hydrogen and electricity shouldn't mix. Unless you're talking about the Nikola Badger hydrogen electric hybrid pickup. This truck has the ability to run on a battery stack you can charge up at home or with a public charger, plus the ability to run a hydrogen fuel cell with a compressed tank of H. Either method will get the truck about 300 miles of range on a full fill or 600 miles if both methods of propulsion are fully charged. By offering two different ways to charge or fill up, Nikola says it will ease consumers' range anxiety. On top of that, it's got over 900 horsepower and 980 pound-feet of torque, you know, in case you have any stumps you need pulled. With at least nine different electric trucks allegedly coming to the market soon, Nikola needed something to set itself apart. If it can develop a nationwide hydrogen filling network the way Tesla built its supercharger network, will that be enough to make consumers consider a badger? A bigger question though, with two sources of energy, does that mean it's a new kind of dually? Hmm. Nikola Motors isn't the only one planning big things for hydrogen fuel. Here's a pretty big figure. 800 miles per stinking hour. If you've ever hated on hydrogen powered cars, now is the time to zip it and listen up, boys and girls. You remember the folks that brought you the Bloodhound SSC? You know, the record setting rocket car that used a supercharged V8 just to pump fuel into a massive jet engine? Well, they have built a new land rocket that's so potent it could beat the current land speed record and surpass 800 miles per hour. The kicker? The new sled doesn't spew nasty emissions. In fact, the new Bloodhound LSR produces nothing but water out of its big, nasty tailpipe. Yeah, you heard that right. This bullet-shaped baby is hydrogen-powered. Specifically, hydrogen peroxide-powered, which, uh, you know, means it runs really, really clean. <laughs> no, but seriously, folks, the Bloodhound LSR is major news for greenies who love controversial hydrogen power. Fingers crossed this eco bad boy breaks and takes the land speed record. Speaking of wild and crazy electric rides, here's a weird one for you. A big red lumbering, you guessed it, fire truck. Yep, the world's gone mad, folks. You know how fire trucks are usually rumbling by and spewing black smoke? Well, because Los Angeles wants to be the city of the future, the LA Fire Department will adopt an Austrian-built Rosenbauer fire truck in early 2021 that's run entirely on electrons. Yeah, you heard that, right? This firefighting machine runs on two 100 kilowatt hour batteries, making it entirely internal combustion free. That is not counting the onboard diesel generator used for extending its capabilities. I mean, <laughs> Does it get any more fire than that? If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. For more tech news, join us over at ride.tech and be sure to follow Ride Tech News on your social platform of choice. I really like saying future forward fire truck. Future forward fire truck. Future forward fire truck. Future forward fire truck. You're welcome. Either method will get the truck about 300 miles of range on a full fill or 600, 600? All right. Did you just echo my sniff? <laughs> You're like, now it's my time. It wasn't a, I like what I find the pain and music is my ever play. It wasn't that one? Oh. Oh, I've loved roller coaster. Ooh, ooh, ooh. My aeroplane. This episode of Ride News Now is brought to you by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe. Also, head to ride.tech for stories, reviews, and more news.